What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. As always, I'm your host Red Falcon Games, and the last episode we started off our Pokemon adventure by getting our buddy over here, not over 8, and let's, let's go ahead and go to the left here. Uh oh, wait a second. Wait one second! Yeah, that's exactly what I said actually. <laughs> Alright, what does he have to say? I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Alright, we registered Professor Elm in the Poke Gear. I'll call you up if anything comes up. Alright, see you later, man. I'm sure that won't be too long. Alright, we are finally off on our own. Route 29. Let's do this thing. Here's the music, and we are back, everyone. Let's go into this grass. Hmm, I wonder what we could find here. Uh-oh, what's going on? It is a wild Pokemon, and it's a Rattata. Level 4. All right, let's go not over eight. We're gonna go ahead and run away from this guy, so let's run. One thing I wanna mention really quick though, if the bottom screen on this layout is a little bit too small, then I suggest you using the large player on YouTube or full screening the video, because I understand it is kind of small, but other than that, I really love the layout, and I hope hopefully you guys do too. All right, so we got more wild Pokemon encounters, and there is a Pidgey. Very awesome, but we are going to run away from this for now, and from now on I'll be cutting out all random encounters from this point on for a little while. Okay, good, we didn't run into one there. Let's see what this fat guy has to say. I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Alright, cool, man. We can always do that. Alright, here we got some more scary tall grass that wild Pokemon live in. Uh, Alright, oh, whoa, what is that tree over there? We'll have to find out. Alright, come on, tree. Come here. Come here, what is this about? It's an apricorn tree. It says there's nothing to put in it. There's nothing, no reason to take it. Aww. Alright, I'll show you guys about those a little bit later. And, uh, that's actually coming up. But now we're going to the west side here, and this is Cherry Grove City. Hmm, hey old man, what's going on, dude? You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everybody is a rookie some point, at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me. Alright, man. Jeez, he's running fast. In what world do we have to keep up with an old man? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try to keeping up. Alright. This is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Yes, free healthcare at its finest. Alright, this is the Pokemart. Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Okay, what is over here? Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Yes, we need to go there like Professor Elm told us to. Hmm, what's over here? Some nice, beautiful ocean-like stuff. This is the sea, as you can see. Ha, uh, get it? As you can see. Uh, <laughs> So Pokemon are only found in water. Look at this guy, he's booking it. This old guy is just running so fast. Hey man, keep up. I mean, wait up. Here, it's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. Alright, we received running shoes, which is the best item in all of Pokemon. The instruction manual reads, Touch the sprint button on... Excuse me, on the touch screen to sprint. It also says hold the B button down to sprint. Ah, uh, okay. Another amazing feature in this game. So you hold down B to run, and that's awesome, right? We're running. But then you can go ahead on your touch screen and click this. And as you select that, you can automatically run around everywhere without even holding having to hold down a button, which is freaking amazing, and I love it. But, um, real quick, let's let's go to the Pokemon Center and see what it's all about. So we're going inside the Pokemon Center, yes. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would love to rest my Pokemon, even though it has no damage taken or anything. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Please, come back again anytime. Okay, great. Awesome. So, uh, if any of you guys think that I don't know about that at all, though, I do. It, I'm just showing this off for 
for purpose obvious purposes. This this Pokemon music is the best in all of Pokemon. It is just so good. All right, what can we buy here? All right, uh, potion, antidote, paralyze heal. And I'm gonna buy a bunch of antidotes because I'm a freak like that. I don't know if you guys remember from another Let's Play of mine, but I always buy a crap ton of antidotes. I don't even care if it's a bad idea at this point in the game. I do it anyway because I hate getting poisoned so much. I hate it more than anything. But it looks like we've done all we can in Cherry Grove City. We got our running shoes from that old dude. But, um, oh wait, there's more. And look at him, he comes running. He is so funny. <laughs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This, another token from me. Take it. And we loaded the map card in our Poke Gear. Awesome. Now show the town map. Select it. Uh, yeah, 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 cool. All right, so we can see the town map. I won't show that off, really. We, it's not that big of a deal. But um, now we're on Route 30, which is great. It's one step closer to Mr. Pokemon's house. Okay, if we go over here, we can find a Pokeball, which is an item, and it is a potion. So you will find various items around the, the area of Pokemon world, stuff like that. And they look like Pokeballs, so they're really cool. It's an apricorn tree, and there's nothing to put. So, alright. So we're gonna go into this house and solve this apricorn tree problem. What's up with what's up with this guy? People usually come to my house to look for Mr. Pokemon's house. You didn't mean to find my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees too. Apricorns are really something. You can make pokeballs and other things. They're quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. So I'm happy that I'll give you this. Alright, we got an apricorn box. Awesome. With that apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. Thanks, decent. We're gonna be awesome, apricorn collector. Here, let's take this. It's an apricorn tree. Hmm. That's an apricorn, right? It's a green apricorn. Yeah, green apricorns. All right, let's go up here with our fantastic running shoes. Oh, we almost got through them. Darn it. Also, if you did not know this, there is a later time in the game when we can get an awesome item that will help us avoid wild Pokemon. It's like a Let's Player's best friend. You'll see later on. Oh my god, another Pokemon battle! Alright, so I'm doing you guys a favor and cutting out all of that stuff, but it seems we have made it to Mr. Pokemon's house. Hold on, let's let's check this apricorn tree really quick. And, hmm, looks like it might be a pink... Oh, it's a pink apricorn. Alright, it's pink. It's like pink, you know? Alright, so let's go into this house. Is it... Is it... Mr. Pokemon's house? It might be. You must be Sam. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Hmm, what's he doing? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. And we obtained a mystery egg, just like Professor Elm told us it would probably be an egg. A friend of mine from Ecrutik gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what it, this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution, quote unquote. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Pro Professor Elm. <laughs> Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Alright, great. We got some rest. And here is the legend himself. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Sam. It was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this, a rare Pokemon? I see, you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. And we received a Pokedex from Professor Oak. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Sam, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, we got Professor Oak's phone number. That's what I'm talking about. 
See you later, dude. See, he walks slow like a normal old guy. Alright, so we got a task from Mr. Pokemon to return to Professor Elm's office. Oh, what's what's this? The Pokegear. <laughs> Hello, Sam. It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? Uh, it... Oh, no. Please get back here now. Uh-oh. Seems like Professor Elms need us for something. But we'll find out in the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. We'll go back to Professor Elm's office and see what is running amok. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Red Falcon Games. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Peace out, everyone.